I've been teaching math one-to-one -one with computers since 2000. And of course, the options for having students write on the screen is limited, and I don't really want them to anyway. I want them to be looking at the screen, which has the directions and the problem, and I just use quarter sheets of paper. I keep stashes of quarter sheets of paper. I carry quarter sheets of paper around in my backpack. I love paper. If you type it out, the learning is not better. It's it's the same or worse, really, like trying to scribble with your mouse. Ugh, just use paper. There's nothing wrong with paper. If it can be done on paper, use paper. If they've got a digital option, awesome, but I don't stress myself about it. And the thing about quarter sheets is they're the perfect size to hold up to the webcam. So I like to make one Google Slides and I ask the students to work out on paper their math problems and they should have like a stack of them probably and I'll ask them like give me the one problem you want feedback on so that we can do feedback together on the ones they ask for it not just looking through show your work of all the ones they got right so one of the ways that you benefit from having all the students use one Google slide where they hold up paper to the webcam is that we get to see multiple representations and how other students did it and then we use critique the reasoning of others because we're all in the same Google Slides. We're together, we're gonna insert comments. And if you read Joe Bowler's book, Mathematical Mindsets, we wanna create a culture where kids are like, share mine, I didn't do it right, let's talk about that one because it's much more interesting to talk about it when you didn't necessarily get it right because you were thinking and we get to talk through the thinking and that's really exciting. But of course you have to develop that culture and we do it together in Google Slides using paper.